will visit a Korean restaurant, Manduhyang, where you can enjoy the original taste of Kaesong Mandu. The restaurant serves a variety of mandu made from homemade bean curd. In the World Food Hour, we visited a Mexican restaurant, Casa Maya, where you can enjoy the taste of Mexico's traditional cuisine, coupled with wonderfully spicy fragrances. This is Food Lovers Paradise Cuisine Korea. Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Yi. On those cold winter days, I feel for a hot sweet potato and steaming boiling hot porch fish soup called omuk and spicy tteokbokki which seem to gently melt us down. Now there's one more called dumpling called mandu. Today we'll be visiting a restaurant where you can get a taste of kaesong mandu of North Korea. Won't you please join us? The restaurant is famous for plump mandu and meat soup with a refreshing taste. You enjoy the original taste of Kaesong Mandu at Manduyang. Manduyang is located near the back gate of Iwa Women's University. Many college students and professors are regular customers of Manduyang. The main hall is decorated with white curtains and exceptionally refined lighting which please the younger patrons. The floor heated rooms called under are decorated with traditional Korean sliding doors and folding screens. These rooms are prepared for the older generation or those who want a quiet atmosphere. Kaesong mandu is made from homemade bean curd and is nutritious as well as delicious. A mouthful of murmandu is soft and chewy and has become a very popular menu item at Manduyang. Mimi so mandu, which is the best of kaesong mandu made from buckwheat mandu skin and various vegetables along with generous amount of nutritious mandu chengban are specialties of Manduyang. In addition to mandu, the roast eel is good for stamina and has no waste. They also offer steamed ribs, which were enjoyed in the palace many years ago, and fresh minced raw beef made from fat-free beef and ground pine nuts. And finally, Modunjung made of various fresh seafood and vegetables. These are set menus you can enjoy at Manduyang. They say there are many different types of mandu, but the mandus of Manduyang has its special taste and fragrance. Let's go find out its secret recipe. There are two dishes strongly recommended at Manduyang. Mandu chengban and buckwheat mandu full of fibroid materials, proteins, and vitamins. Today's chef is Lee Tae Young, who says, Don't mention the mandu to me. He's always thinking of new ways to improve the already delicious mandu. Manduyang에서 개정 만두를 만든다고 들었거든요. 어 근데 일반 만두하고 어떤 차이점이 있나요? 개성 만두는요 두부, 숙주, 돼지고기, 소고기 기타 여러 가지 야채를 넣고 만드는데요. 그 배합이 적절하게 잘 배합되어서 느끼하지 않고 담백하기 때문에 식사용으로 아주 적합합니다. 어 그러면 첫 번째 요리는 어떤 요리죠? 만두를 이용해서요 만두향 쟁반 한번 만들어 보겠습니다. 
네, 한번 시작해 볼까요? First, prepare dropworts, several kinds of mushrooms, turban shell, abalone, oysters, ginkgo nuts, and beef. Then, prepare the stuffing using green bean sprouts, bean curd, cabbage, green onions, and zucchini. First, put the ground pork and beef in a dish. Add soy sauce, ground pepper, sesame salt, and sesame oil. Then, mix this well with a spoon. Chop boiled green bean sprouts and slice the thick green onions. Finally, slice onions and zucchini. Then, chop the cabbage. When the vegetables are ready, place the ground meat and the mashed bean curd into a dish then, mix them well with a spoon. Add the finely sliced green onions, cabbages, green bean sprouts, zucchini, and the onions and mix well. Add soy sauce, sesame salt, chopped garlic, and ground pepper, mixing them well in preparation for stuffing the mandu. 어, 만두를 만들 때안 터지게 예쁘게 빚을 수 있는 방법이 있나요? 네, 반죽이 중요한데요. 찬물에 소금을 좀 넣고요. 오랫동안 치댄 다음에 하루 정도 숙성을 시켜서 사용하면 되겠습니다. The taste of mandu comes from the chewy mandu skin. Place flour in a dish, add cold water and ned. Then set aside some of the dough for later use. Make a thin mandu skin using a push stick. Place a spoonful of stuffing in it, roll it up and shape. Now the mandu for the mandu jengban is complete. Season the beef with soy sauce. Place the minced garlic, the sliced green onions, and the dropworts in the center of a dish. Put the mushrooms and the other vegetables on the dish. Next, arrange the seasoned beef around the vegetables. Place oysters, abalone, and turban shells into a dish and place the cooked mandu in the middle. Put chestnuts in a few places and lay the sliced yellows on the mandu. Finally, pour the meat soup over the vegetables and boil. Then this winter delicacy mandu jengba made of various vegetables and seafood is ready to eat. Prepare leeks, bean curd, zucchinis, and cucumbers for the stuffing of the mandu. First, finely slice zucchinis and the cucumbers, setting aside for later use. Also, chop the pengi mushrooms and the onions. Cut the clean leeks and other vegetables into fine strips. Season the mashed bean curd with sesame salt and sesame oil and mix together. Add the finely sliced zucchinis, onions, pengi mushrooms and leeks in this order and mix together. Now the stuffing for the buckwheat mandu is complete. Make a thin mandu skin by rolling it with a push stick. Place the stuffing on the mandu skin and fold to make a triangle. Next, steam them in a water bath and remove. Now Gezong buckwheat mandu with its refreshing taste is ready for serving.
everything looks so good and smells so great. I don't know where to begin, but I think this is a great place to start. Let me scoop a dumpling here. Wow. Look at the size of this. Along with some of the soup. It's so good. Mm, it's full of flavor. Now, let me try some of the soup. Mm, it's very soothing. I think this would be a great winter dish. Now, let me try the Mei so Mandu. This is actually a vegetarian dish, and you won't be disappointed. Mm. According to the Korean history books on the Chosen Dynasty, Koreans really enjoy mandu on special days. Kezo mandu is known as the best among Korea's traditional mandu. Many customers visit Mandu Yang to enjoy the original taste of Kesong Mandu. While visiting Mandu Yang, we had the opportunity to taste Kesong Mandu. Well, what did you think? Next time you and your family get together, why not try to make some delicious mandu yourself? Now, let's move on to look and taste. Looks good, tastes good. Do you want to be in a romantic mood today? Then go to May Lieb Alpes and taste a fascinating cocktail in a unique atmosphere. A variety of decorations and ornaments that please the eye will make you feel like you're in a castle in Europe. Popungsron Shinde Jangshik Gwa, Choi Jimmane Tkperan Cocktail Alpus Hanjanro, Aramdown Piano Yonjul Trushinenso. 마치 유럽 어느 한 곳에 와 있는 듯한 그런 느낌을 받으실 수 있을 거예요. May Leave Alpes serves a refreshing tasting cocktail. Alpes is mixed with pineapple juice. There is a sweet cocktail called Alexander made with brandy and milk. Along with a fragrant cocktail named Tequila Sunrise. Flanders punch is made by mixing several kinds of juices and is enjoyed by many women. There is also the mint flavor grasshopper. One can enjoy a large variety of cocktails here. Cuisine Korea, now it's time for world food, where we can taste various dishes from all over the world. A French writer once said that Mexico is the least boring country in the world. Mexico is always filled with festivals, good food, and good music under the hot sun. I guess we cannot leave out their food when we're talking about Mexico. So today in world food, we'll be visiting a restaurant where we can taste authentic Mexican food. The outside of the restaurant looks a little different from other restaurants which holds our attention. It's a traditional Mexican restaurant, Casa Maya. It's a famous restaurant on Rodeo Street, Apujongdong, where many high-class restaurants are located.
Needless to say, besides the taste, Casa Maya's other attraction is its atmosphere. The brown furniture offers us comfort. The traditional dolls and hats from Mexico are on display. They live in perfect harmony alongside the Latin music. There are many kinds of Mexican food with many unique tastes, including tortillas made by slightly roasting mashed corn that is stirred with hot sauce. Today's entree recommendations by Casa Maya is mole verde made with chicken. And alambre con queso made by roasting beef, bacon, and various other vegetables. The owner of Casa Maya, Chong Mihua, lived in Mexico, Central and South America for a long time. The restaurant serves a special sauce that she makes herself, and you can enjoy many traditional Mexican dishes. Now, let's go find out how the dishes are prepared. Today's chef, using masterly cutting skills with experienced hands, is Chong Mihua. She is the owner and chef of Casa Maya. She has learned Mexican cooking and makes Casa Maya's dishes herself. Mexican food I like to eat a lot of people. What is the main thing of Mexican food? The main thing of Mexican food is that we use the fish. We use the fish in our country, and we use the fish in our country. 빵이나 밥 대신에 또르티아를 음식에 곁들여 먹는다는 거두 가지로 볼수 있겠죠. 그럼 첫 번째 요리는 어떤 건가요? 첫 번째는 몰래 베르데 그래가지고요. 간 음식, 몰래가 간, 갈다란 뜻이에요. 그리고 베르데는 녹색, 녹색이 간 음식이라는 뜻이고요. 그 다음에 몰래는 멕시코에서는 그 특별한 날 가족끼리 모여서 해 먹는 음식이에요. 어, 너무 맛있을 것 같아요. 음, 빨리 만들어 주세요. Prepare the ingredients like chicken breast, onions, green leaf, pumpkin seeds, and peanut butter. First, remove any fat from the clean chicken breast and cut it in slices and leave them for later use. In a boiling pot of water, put the chicken breast, half-cut onions, and three or four garlic cloves. Cover it and boil over a low fire. Put the quarter cut tomatoes and onions into a mixer and add two green peppers, green leaves, and sesame salt and grind. When the pan is hot, put the ground vegetables onto the pan and roast, stirring with a scoop. When the sauce is made, place it on a dish. Place the appropriately boiled chicken breast onto a dish. Grind the pumpkin seeds and mix them with the meat sauce in a pot, then boil until it's thick. Add one spoonful of peanut butter and boil again, stirring well. Add the vegetable sauce and continue to boil. Pour the sauce evenly over the boiled chicken breast. Last of all, sprinkle the finely sliced onions and sesame salt on it. The taste of the peanut butter will stimulate our taste buds. Now, mole verde is complete. Two 
두 번째 요리는 어떤 건가요? 두 번째 요리는 알람브레 꽁케소라 그래가지고요. 치즈를 곁들인 알람브레라는 거예요. 근데 이 음식은 멕시코 어쩌서나 쉽게 접하시는 음식이에요. 네. 저 치즈 참 좋아하거든요. 아, 빨리 그래요? 만들어주세요. 네, 그래 볼까요? First, prepare the ingredients like beef, bacon, oak mushrooms, onions, green and red onions. Cut the onions into three pieces and slice the oak mushrooms into an appropriate size. Cut the green and red peppers into four centimeter thickness. Finally, slice the garlic cloves and set all of the vegetables aside for later use. Put the vegetables on a hot plate and roast, seasoning them with a little salt. Roast the beef, bacon, and vegetables separately. When they are properly roasted, mix them together and roast again until they are thoroughly cooked. When the beef, bacon, and vegetables are properly cooked, cover them with cheese. Roast again just until the cheese melts. Finally, place them on a dish, adding rice balls and boiled red beans on the side. Then, the combination of cheese and beef bacon. A lambre con queso of Mexico is ready to eat. I heard that the chef makes the sauces herself, and I hear they're really good. Now it's my turn to taste the gray sauces. Now the first dish. Mmm. Delicious. The meat is very tender and the sauce has a very, very, very interesting texture. Mmm. The peppers give it a little spicy taste. Ooh, spicy. Now I'm going to taste the second dish. And here you're supposed to put the tortilla on your plate first, and then you put the filling. all that cheese. Okay, a little bit more. more. I'm going to add a little salsa. Just a little bit. And now I'm going to roll the tortilla like this. Mmm, looks good already. Mm. The salsa gives a very fresh taste. And the tortilla harmonizes really well with the meat and pork. Mm. Excellent. Other Mexican restaurants serve Mexican fusion foods of America and Europe, while you can enjoy the original taste of traditional Mexican dishes at Casa Maya. The 
perfect harmony of various meats, vegetables, and hot sauce creates the unique taste of Mexican food. Enchiladas are made by placing chicken in a slightly roasted tortilla and topped with hot sauce and cheese. Quesadillas are made with stuffed tortillas and then roasted. These are recommended by Casa Maya. And you don't want to miss tasting the Spanish-style seafood fried rice either. Many Koreans are enjoying Mexican food in a unique atmosphere. Hot and spicy Mexican food and tequila. Do you want to eat something different and enjoy an atmosphere of passion? Then why don't you go to Casa Maya? Cuisine Korea, this is all for today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. See you next week.